I got a guy coming for a battery right now. Weird. And um, Tram Mission Dick called. Trammy's ready. But uh, we got Gramps' uh, visitation tonight. And yeah. I might need that cable there. It's the only one I have. So. Bass. But uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'll be going to get the truck here or not. I gotta do an under curtain, I gotta get a guy a battery, a couple things, couple things. So, and then tomorrow's the actual funeral. So, I probably won't go then either. So, I don't know if I don't end up going this morning and getting back in time, then I'll probably end up going uh, a couple days until so this is over. But, anyways. She freaking rained last night. Holy. Look at the moist here. Oh, they're taking them in, potting them. Good lord. Empty or no go? Looks like a little bit of the gloom factor up into the words there. Hopefully it's just pouring down rain like a freight sack or it's just like when I load the truck up and whatnot. not. That'd be great. That'd be great. Uh-oh. It's as far as the window goes up, so hopefully it's, it doesn't get me. Hopefully it doesn't get me. Good Lord, look at the visibility factor in this situation. shifting so hard that's why he puts the solid band in these things but he cranks everything up like the pressure regular valve was maxed out too much to go thing didn't work for sure. right. so we got the 48 RE valve body it was a part 48 47 valve body that he had on there I don't know what he was doing uh, the converter looks like the neck was wore out of the converter from the last time because this pump was spun out on it at one time mm -hmm. so he reused the torque converter by the looks of it um, and the pump, I'm going to show you the pump on this thing, yeah. that's okay. So the pump is the part with the bushing that spins? Yeah. Area you had the ring in the pump, okay? But if you look all in here, you can just run your finger on there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all chewed, right? Mm -hmm. So it comes in as assembly. You can see where it's kind of chewed up on there mm -hmm. on both sides. You can see in here it's all chewed up, okay? It's like you did replace the bushing, or somebody did replace the bushing at one time. You can see how it's all chewed up in here, too, mm -hmm. okay? This is we've got another shell for it. Normally, we just fold this up, but what happens is it gets all whacked in here. Gives you a clunk to it gear and stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So we just place that to in charge of that. Just, I have it out I have here, I got them, I just weld them up. Hmm. Okay? It just clunks them when you put it in second uh -huh. gear, reverse and stuff, and make a clunk and noise. Um, bunch of clutches in the direct drum. He had probably about 150,000 clearance in the direct drum. Normally it's around 100. So we fixed that up too while we're in there. Hmm. You do have a billet input shaft in there. Those are billet drum and heavy duty second gear band and all that? The heavy duty second gear band is a 727 solid band. Back in the day they used 727 which is the exact same as what you have here. It's just a solid band instead of the double wrap. And the only reason why I'm thinking he did that is because he had the pressure regulator max out on. Um, this is your body here. So this, this spring right here is your pressure regulator spring. 
And you see how much clearance you got in there? Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be maybe two turns, not not 12. Yeah. Okay. Good Lord, eh? So yeah, he did have a shift kit in there, but it's a, it's a uh, 47 upper body, 47 lower body, 48 plate, like just mix and match of jump. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we changed that up as well. Jigs. Yeah. I'll show you where your converter is here. So this is your converter out of your truck. It has a billet cover on it, but hmm. even where the neck rides for the, the, the bushing where the bushing would sit, um, you chew it up. And I have no idea who paints your converters black anymore. As you can see, we deal with Converter Man, we deal with J&K, we deal with OEM. Mm -hmm. Most of them have their color. Yeah, I thought it was blue that was in there. That's weird. Maybe you fucking swapped it out. So sure, the first one he had in there was yeah. blue. All the blue ones? Okay, yeah. There's a guy in Quebec that does the blue ones. There's a guy out west that does the blue ones. But like, I, I use Converter Man forever. I haven't had any issues with them. I've used J&K ones. If I have issues with them, that's just an old one that I've had forever. I don't use them anymore, but I use Converter Man because they stand behind the stuff. They give it to you and want to jump. So. Um, but other than that, you know about the linkage you got to fix up. Mm -hmm. There's an engine oil leak on the looks like the oil pan's rotted out. Yeah, there's a plug leaking or something like that. Um, and one other thing that I want to show you on your truck that I had to fix. This bracket cracked. Oh, good. Fell Lord. down and got wedged on the throttle when we we're driving it. It was pretty scary. <laughs> it, almost, it almost cracked all the way there. It's a little bit left on the end, but it fell right down and got jammed on the throttle. So that's why there's the fresh weld on there. So you might want to put another brace up there or something like that. Just the whole thing. Oh, man. But yeah, it was, a, it was a kind of scary when it happened. Wow. Um, but yeah, other than that, you can see where it whacked. Yeah. But it the pulls like crazy. It locks up and holds lock up now. Right on. Didn't have any issues with that at all. Okay. <laughs> Two year warranty on it. The stuff that we did there should we shouldn't have a problem with you. Call me. You can answer the phone when you call the number. <laughs> Don't have to use my old lady's phone. No. I was watching that. I was like, Jesus, really? So it's uh, 43 or 64 all together there. They must have just been hot rod and you're all my shits just strewn about. Probably testing her out relentless. Well, I can already tell it's better because it's not going. Oh, but the brake light we need to fix. Turn left onto Huron Road. Oh, yeah. Let me call the cops on it for sure. Yeah. Tell. Son of a bitch. Just uh, let me know, I'll, 
I'll hook you up with all the information you need. Don't let the watchers get you.